Good morning, friends. It is Thursday and Vlogtober day four. I am going into work this morning. Um, I just wanna get a couple things done this past week. Um, I just not fell behind. But for me to feel really good about next week, I just wanna knock some things off my plate that I can while it's quiet and calm. And I'm gonna do that. And then I'm meeting my friends this afternoon at a brewery. And then I thought maybe we'd go potentially to my favorite store, but we might do that tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Um, but tomorrow I'm not gonna go into work at all. We're obviously Saturday or Sunday. So I thought I'd go in today and do a little work. She is so cute. So I'm gonna be super comfy and get cleaned up and then take her for a walk. And then I think a couple friends are going into work as well. So I'm gonna pick up some coffee for everyone. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do to start the day. But. It feels good. The weekend has essentially began. I actually really slept in. It's already 6.30. Um, so I'm probably not even gonna leave here till 7.30, 7.40-ish. Um, so no rush, no rush, no rush. We'll probably go for a little bit longer of a walk. We've been doing a mile every morning when Steven's gone. We'll probably do closer to two miles this morning just because we have the time think she's ready to go so I might actually go get cleaned up now good morning <clears throat> my friends this video is going to be a little disjointed because I had a little bit too much fun yesterday so we went to the brewery around two o'clock probably maybe even earlier I don't even remember now um, anyway it started with three of us and it ended with like 20 of us and I got home at like 8 8 30 we had such a good time laughed so much but i crashed when i came home this morning we got up we went for a w because i can't say w-a-l-k right now or she'll go crazy um wait look at her she's like in her own little world right now I don't even know what she's looking at. <laughs> You're the cutest doggy. So we went for a quick little walk today and then I'm just going to make myself a little treat on this Friday off, which is going to be a hot chocolate. I lost my Smeg hot chocolate maker in the move, but this one was highly rated on Amazon and just like so much more reasonably priced that I picked it up. Typically I let it run a little bit and get the um, the milk warm and then I add my hot chocolate mix. Got a delivery yesterday. <laughs> this is just confetti that I am going to be using for something. But I decided to get myself a Halloween Simple Modern cup. I'll link it below. The skeleton is so cute. They had a bat one too that was adorable. And then I had a free people delivery come. So I got this oversized camouflage cardigan. I really wanted a camo cardigan and I just couldn't find one that I liked. Really, really loved this one. And then I also got this not style um, uh, sweater vest which I'm really excited. I'm gonna wear it next week because it's supposed to be colder next week. We are not making a fancy hot chocolate. We're just doing a very simple packet of salted caramel hot chocolate from Target. Anyway, super happy with this uh, frother and hot chocolate maker. It does the job just as I need it to. So I'll link that down below as well for you. So yeah, I'm going to have that little treat and then probably go for my run, 
get cleaned up, and then we'll really like start the day. I wanna get to the farmer's market today, maybe a little Target run, I don't know. We'll see what we get into. But it's another day of just Mabel and me. I am back from running some errands. I went to Target, I went to a new store that had caught my eye in our neighborhood, so I wanted to check it out. And then I went to our neighborhood farmer's market and got some fresh flowers because those ones in there are looking sad. So, Target, nothing <laughs> exciting. I got like some necessities. I needed a new eyebrow trimmer, some deodorant, some, <gasps> someone just came in from outside, some shaving cream, <gasps> and then there was this beautiful lady girl. It is a beautiful lady girl. Yes, I miss it, you. Do you need cookie? We'll take it and run. And then I got some batteries for my eyebrow trimmer. And I wanted the green version of these pumpkins I got for the window seal here. So I'm gonna set him kind of like because I like an odd number, so I needed a third one. And then, oh, it sits so pretty. Oh, knock the cushions down, because it was such a good girl. Oh, have all the pillows, I mess it up, all the things, all the things. Mm, you're just perfect. That's not too exciting, however, this bag, it's from a store called Paper Twist. It's in our neighborhood. There's a couple other things I definitely want to get, but I am hosting a family Halloween party. So I got this table runner. I love these paper table runners that you can buy in different designs. Such a cheaper alternative, and you can change it up based off of the style. And then... I thought this guy was adorable. And I might actually set him right there. He's like this metal crow. And then I picked up napkins for the party that I just thought were so cute. This set has little ghosts and pumpkins. And then these cocktail napkins say, be afraid, be very afraid. And then I picked up this serving bowl that came with little spider toothpicks. So got that for our family Halloween party. Super pumped about that. All right, I need to get, oh, oh, there's a goodie there looking sleepies, sleepers. We can see bars. We say hi to them. I love when she crosses her paws like that. She's just a cutie. She's just a cutie matootie. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get my new flowers all arranged and taken care of. All right, friends, I told you I would go over some books that I have recently read and loved. Um, I've not been reading, I mean, I still read often, but not maybe plowing through books as quickly as I can. But I think that has a lot <laughs> to do with living and going out more and having fun with my friends and stuff. So I just think like I have maybe reprioritized a bit. Finally read Throne of Glass. Loved it, couldn't put it down. They say the other books get really good. I just, sometimes I don't love committing to a series because I don't like reading like one book about one character for a long period of time. I will pick up the next book as soon as I get a break, but I loved it. It is Hunger Game vibes. I, I really enjoyed it. The only one left, if I love Riley Sager books, the only one left is incredible. So it is about a caretaker who takes care of someone 
um, a woman who is accused of murdering her family and the truth comes out during it. If you love a suspense, loved it. I'm not getting political or anything. I really do love and admire Hillary Rodham Clinton. If you're not a fan, obviously skip the book. But Something Lost, Something Gained was a really easy read. Um, some of her books are quite heavy, and this one is just really lovely. And I think it's maybe the most gentle and human book that she's read, um, written. And I really, really loved it. I actually am planning on going to see her in Durham uh, speak about this book. So excited about that. Diane, A Signature Life by Diane von Furstenberg. I was sparked to read this after watching her documentary on Hulu. If you've not watched it, it's incredible. Her life makes the best book. I love it. I also really enjoyed her writing style. The House and the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I know a sequel just came out. It is a feel-good, wonderful book. It just gives cozy vibes and is a fun read. Um, highly, highly recommend. This, this book I found by accident by Anna Klutz, My Own Magic. It's about... Um, uh, her divorce and the trials she went through in life and kind of coming back to herself, finding herself and making a new life. She actually mentions that it's a reappearing act, which I think is so clever, but such a great, great read. Um, think a little bit Eat, Pray, Love without a European journey. Uh, Once Upon a Time, The Captivating Life Story of Caroline Bissett Kennedy. I am fascinated by the Kennedys. Anything on Jackie O I've read. Um, I always, like, admired Caroline Bissett just as, like, a human and her style. And she just, like, is icon status for me. So this was a beautiful telling of her life and a lot of backstory of things that we didn't necessarily know about her. But very much enjoyed this book. So those are current favorites that I've plowed through and have loved and highly, highly recommend. And also a lot of them give me like cozy fall reading vibes as well. I want to get this edited and published because now my plan of being like a day ahead is off, but that's okay. I will make up time somewhere, but I definitely want to get this up and live, but I just... <laughs> had too much fun yesterday, which is a good reason. So I'm gonna get this edited and then I will see you all tomorrow. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time.